What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to today's videos brought to you guys by EasyUS. They've been around for 14 years right here, and they've been making software the whole time. They have literally everything you could dream of, everything from PC transfer tools to backup and restore tools to data recovery tools. But today we're taking a look at one of their backup tools that is 100% free. There are a few paid options attached to it, but as you can see, here are all the different things you can do with it. You can back up your device, you can clone eight hard drives and SSDs and all that, and you can recover everything all within one application. As you can see, we have system backups, partition backups, disk backups, flexible backup options, and file backups. As you can see right here, we also have the ability to partition clones, or clone partitions, clone systems, and clone actual drives. Here are a few other options that you guys have in terms of purchasing it, but let's go ahead and actually check this out right now. So, what exactly are we able to do with this? As you can see, we have our disk partition backup, a system backup, file backup, email backup, and a smart backup. All right, so as you guys can see, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt this right now. So there is an option for system transfer, but some of these options are locked. You do have to go ahead and purchase it. But with that said, let's see what we can do. Let's jump into one of these disks. And as you can see, I have multiple hard drives on here in multiple versions, and you can select one right here and you can back it up to another drive. You simply hit browse and then you choose where you want and you can choose its name. There's also an idea where you can go and use image reserve and you can go ahead and schedule it so it happens automatically on its own every once in a while so you don't forget to back up your very important files. Now there's options here as well. As you can see, we got ourselves the compression rate. So uh, if you want a bigger file, you obviously want no compression. And if you want a smaller file, you can set it to normal. And there's also medium as well. Now, the downside to compression is sometimes files might get messed up a little bit. Sometimes you might lose things. So I would suggest if your computer can handle it, keep it on normal. Don't keep it on high. But, you know, who knows how much this space you have. That's up to you. My now, taking a look at one of my favorite features here, we got ourselves backup encryption. Now, this is pretty important in case you want to make sure that no one ever can touch your files without a, pass a password. And I would suggest making your password pretty hefty maybe a sentence maybe something very long the longer it is the harder it is to you know guess and whatnot so keep that in mind as well but at the same time don't forget your password because once something is encrypted it's locked forever so remember all that now there's also performance so if you have an older system you can choose to set this to low and if you got a better system you can choose to uh, set it to high and it also depends on how important your backup is like if you're not doing anything else on your computer then set it to high and have all your resources go towards that but if you're doing like a 10 million things on your build uh, like I'm doing then of course that's probably not a good idea there's also network transfer speed so you know fast internet slow internet same old same old now some of the more premium features we got email notifications so this is pretty important as well a lot of people like notifications when they go ahead and do their backups because you know it happens in the background you might forget about it and something might get corrupted or something there might be an error in the log you might not check it and then lo and behold you need to restore a backup and all of a sudden your backup is corrupted or it doesn't work or if you, you haven't backed up in two years and you didn't even realize it so email backups are pretty important as well here's custom commands we also have offsite copy file excursions and there's a few advanced options and that's about it we're gonna hit save and as you can see to basically go and do this I'm gonna do a smaller file I am not backing up my system that would take like three and a half years right now I don't have time for that but you can also go ahead and back up your entire system as you can see here is all of Windows 10 and it will go through and pull all the files from all the different drives you have as you can see I have a combined worth of 476.50 gigabytes worth of stuff so that's not easy to back up but I mean you guys should definitely do it and I will too eventually as well but to do that within like two minutes is like impossible but you do have an option that's a bit quicker for example we have file backup right here and let's say I want to jump into let's say we have a file inside of um, let's see what do we have here my outlook file so I'm gonna deselect everything I'm gonna select this and I want to back it up to let's browse and let's see where we want to back it up to let's say I want to back it up to my uh, let's say a flash drive all right let's see if I have a flash drive yes I do right here so we're gonna back it up to that I'm gonna hit proceed and just like that it's gonna do everything right here it, it's gonna show you how long it's gonna take you can uh, shut down the operation hibernate it sleep and you can cancel it all from within here as you can see for this particular backup it'll take around a minute or two so pretty seamless and easy overall now a few other options that we have, one, one of my favorite ones is of course the system clone option and the clone option. So let's say you have a hard drive that's about to fail or something of those sorts, right? And uh, I went ahead and canceled this since we don't really need to see it, you guys get the point. But as you can see, all you would have to do is simply select the hard drive you want to clone 
and then you would select what you want to clone it to let's say it's one of these other drives you would hit next select one of those and afterwards it would make an exact replica of every single thing on that particular drive onto the next one how cool is that and then of course you can also do it to your entire system as well so you just choose what your system is located on and just like that you're set to go last but not least there's a few other interesting options on here for example you can check an image you can create an emergency disk you can also wipe data this is pretty important you can wipe the data off an entire drive directly from in here uh, that's pretty important especially if you back something up and then you want to use it again for something else and don't want corrupted files or anything that's pretty important there's also a few other more pro level options we have iscic uh, sic something initiator i'm not fully sure what that does i'm not going to mess with it there's also enable pre os and you can mount and unmount drives directly from here so it's a bit safer when you go ahead and unplug it or something of those sorts you can refresh a disk and check your logs in case there's any errors all in all guys i did go ahead and check this out online so of course this is the free version there's also the paid version go ahead and check out both in the link below hopefully you enjoyed this video if so leave a like and don't forget to subscribe it has pretty much everything you would need in terms of backing up and it can do everything in the background on a schedule so it's about as good as it gets thank you for watching this is going to be me logging off